guys crypto mike here with the mic check one two one two is this thing on all right guys so a friend sent me this tweet and told me it was a must read um now i haven't read it yet but i kind of glanced over it and it looked very interesting and uh i just figured you know it'd probably be a good opportunity to share with you i'm sure this tweet is going to be interesting i'm going to read it um and since i haven't read it my reaction will be authentic um and in real time so I'm not sure what it says but I'm gonna read it and we're gonna find out it seems to involve basically it's telling you all about the PayPal Mafia and it ties Jed McCaleb to them um, which I didn't know there were ties to Elon Musk Peter Thiel Andreessen Horowitz Sam Altman I didn't know Jed McCaleb was was uh, tied to them and that's kind of exciting for Stellar which I I really like Stellar um, I think it's, I mean, as far as an, an investment, I think XLM is an excellent investment. Uh, also XRP. So if you guys are interested in going down the rabbit hole of the PayPal mafia, then uh, stay tuned. Okay, so this was a tweet by Lord Vendetta at Lord VXRP, uh, which I didn't, I don't think I've ever heard of him, but I did follow him because I, I like people who do. Um, I like people who, you know, write threads that are about, like, conspiracy and stuff. Um, so this is looking pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys. I'm going to go as quick as possible. Um, I'm not feeling too well today. I've got a bug, maybe the flu. I don't know. So if my voice goes out, um, just forgive me. All right, guys. So it starts out with one group, one mafia. Jed McCaleb, Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, Andreessen Horowitz, Sam Altman. By the way, Andre I think Andreessen Horowitz was on Joe Rogan like two days ago. I think it was him. Um, so by the way, Sam Altman, he's the one who created Jet, um, OpenAI, Chat, GPT. Uh, Jed McCaleb was the one who, he started Ripple and then with, with uh, Chris Larson, I believe. And then he, they had some kind of dispute over being a nonprofit or a for-profit organization and so they split up and Jed McCaleb created Stellar Labs and also created the XLM token or XLM coin. Uh, Elon Musk, we all know Elon Musk, he just rebranded Twitter um, to x.com um, and we're going to go into that through here in the first paragraph here. Peter Thiel was a big investor, he, he was in one of the original PayPal guys. He's also, he's a billionaire investor um, who uh, he, seem, he seems to pick winners quite often. And Andreessen Horowitz, I think he's the same. He's a, he's a billionaire investor who seems to pick winners too. All right, so in December 1998, Max Levchin, Peter Thiel, and Luke Nosek merged Confinity, a startup specializing in payments and cryptography via Palm Pilot. A year later, in March 1999, Elon Musk created X.com, an online banking-like platform. The two companies subsequently merged to become PayPal. They were talking about crypto in 1998. Elon Musk bought the X.com domain name in July 2017 when it had been displaying as a redirect to PayPal's website since 2001. At the time of this acquisition, he stated that he had no specific plans, but that the purchase had sentimental value. When the two companies merged, Peter Thiel and Max Levchin saw the opportunity to offer a payment system that would not be dependent on national authorities. Ryan Fugger, <laughs> sorry, Ryan Fugger <laughs> conceived Ripple in 2004. I, you know, I didn't know that. I, you, you would think I, I would think that I would remember that last name, but I don't remember it. So let me start again. Ryan Fugger conceived Ripple in 2004. The aim was to create a decentralized monetary system, enabling individuals and communities to create their own currency. Fugger subsequently created the first iteration of the system, RipplePay.com. Now, you guys, I don't know if this is all verified and true, okay? So this isn't coming from me. This is just me reading this thread on Twitter. Um, okay, meanwhile, in May 2011, Jed McCaleb began developing a virtual currency system in which transactions are verified by consensus among network members. In August 2012, Jed McCaleb hires Chris Larson and the two approach Ryan Fugger with their virtual currency idea. 
After discussions with McCaleb and former members of the Ripple community, Fugger hands over the reins to them. In September 2012, Chris Larson and Jed McCaleb co-founded OpenCoin, which that turned into Ripple XRP. A year later, the company was backed by some of the best-known venture funds in Silicon Valley. They included Google Ventures, Peter Thiel, co-founder of PayPal, and Andreessen Horowitz. Speaking of Peter Thiel, let's talk about the PayPal Mafia. Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, Steve Chen, Reid Hoffman. I think Reid Hoffman was the one who created Netflix? Maybe not. And Russell Simmons all worked together at PayPal. Jed McCaleb, the founder of OpenCoin, Mt. Gox, and Enonki, left Ripple to set up Stellar. Chris Larson is the executive chairman, one of the co-founders of OpenCoin with an extensive fintech background. Being a member of the fintech high-level advisor group at IMF and HSBC's technology advisory board, he is making sure that Ripple's interests are taken into consideration by the global governing organizations. He's also He was also sued by the SEC alongside Ripple and Brad Garlinghouse. Elon Musk replaces Bird with X in rebrand. And that just happened, like yesterday, I think. I think it just got rebranded yesterday or the day before. So this is all very new. Elon Musk has replaced Twitter's iconic Bluebird logo with an X on Monday. Part of a major rebrand teased over the weekend that takes the platform another step closer to the billionaire's dream of creating an everything app. Some of the biggest names in the space industry are billionaires. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson. The newest person to join this small cadre is, at least by personal personal net worth, is Jed McCaleb. Remember, he's the one who created Stellar. His space station company, Vast, is partnering with SpaceX to be the first private company to launch and operate a fully commercial station in orbit. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so that's the first tie we see from Jed McCaleb to, to Elon Musk. All right, and so what I'm thinking is maybe he'll use Stellar for this, uh, for, for X.com, for Twitter. That would be cool. And I think XLM would blow up, at least on the news. So it'd, it'd be nice to have a bag. Oh, by the way, I did buy some Doge yesterday, or no, this morning. Um, just in case Elon pumps it again, it looks like it's bottomed out. So, yeah, I bought some. Um, it's time. OpenAI Sam Al Allman launches WorldCoin token to distinguish humans from bots. The project provides a centralized and private way to verify human identity online amid the rise of artificial intelligence technologies. All this is happening all at once. What's going on here? It's like it's coordinated. We're excited to welcome the following new donors to OpenAI. Jed McCaleb, Gabe Newell, Michael Seibel, Jan Tallinn, and Ashton Eaton, and Brianne Thiessen Eaton. Reid Hoffman is significantly increasing his contr contribution. Peter Abil, having completed his sabbatical with us, Julie Galef and Marin Nelson are becoming advisors to OpenAI. Additionally, Elon Musk will depart the OpenAI board, but will continue to donate and advise the organization. Okay, so so Jed McCaleb is a donor to OpenAI. That's his second tie to Elon Musk. As Tesla continues to become more focused on AI, this will eliminate a potential future conflict for Elon. Okay, so the advisory team of Stellar. Oh, I didn't know this. Oh, this is awesome. See, I told you guys, I didn't read this yet. Um, Sam Altman. I didn't know he was the advisory of Stellar. Dude, you guys know how big that is? Okay, so Sam Altman, he's the one who created ChatGBT, OpenAI. President of Y Combinator, the most successful accelerator program in the world with a $100 billion combined valuation in their portfolio that include companies like Airbnb, Dropbox, Reddit, Instacart, and Coinbase. Those were all very successful. So do you think Stellar would not be successful? After all of these companies are successful that Sam Altman is connected to. Keith Raboy. Keith is the original member of PayPal Mafia Group with the likes of Peter Thiel, Elon Musk, Reid Hoffman, and Max Levchin until the company got acquired by eBay for $1.5 billion. Stripe said it will auction a majority of its Stellar to other interested companies, with net profits being returned to the Stellar Foundation. Stripe was founded in 2012 by John and Patrick Collision, Collison, 
and has raised $120 million in venture capital from Coastal Ventures, Founders Fund, and more. Seed investors include Elon Musk and Peter Thiel, co-founders of PayPal. Okay, so I guess that looks like uh, another connection, Elon to Stellar. Um, this is getting very exciting, guys. This makes me happy that I own XLM. SpaceX raising $750 million at $137, $137 billion valuation. Investors include Andreessen Horowitz. Andreessen Horowitz temporarily helping Elon Musk with Twitter. And he lists all these different links. So I'm not going to go into each one. Maybe I'll do a separate video and go into all these links. But he's basically putting all the news in one Twitter thread. So here, let's... let's continue Twitter has started the registration procedure for processing payments by submitting documentation to the financial crimes enforcement network FinCEN on November 3rd 2022 businesses must register with FinCEN in order to make money transfers swap currencies or paychecks this will end up creating a never-before-seen payments utopia by combining social media with instant and cheap cross-border payments a blast from the past a review of documents hidden from the internet for over 10 years. X.com research results. The future of commerce will combine your social network and mobile device. How Ripple networks are transforming money. And this is all on X.com. Um, this is over the last 10 years. So these are articles on X.commerce. How cryptocurrencies transform money. Open web payment standards and the new economy. The future of money is the web, standard open ID and integration for PayPal access, PayPal developer network, mining world bank data, the crisis of money and its metamorphosis, decentralization, uh, innovation for financial data, introducing adaptive payments, how seconds is democratizing mobile payments for global citizens, how ripple networks are transforming money, um, so this is all on x.com. Sporny discusses and explains a concept called Ripple Trust Networks, a decentralized network of payment channels that enables real-time, low-cost transactions between parties. He states it has the potential to greatly reduce the costs and complexities of cross-border payments compared to the expensive and slow correspondent banking system. Very interesting. So... Do you, you really think Elon doesn't know about Ripple or Stellar? I mean, he obviously knows, and he knows that if he were to talk about them, there would be a huge craze. He knows XRP and Stellar would blow up just like Doge did. So, you know, I don't know why what his infatuation with Doge is, but it seems to me, just from reading this, that Elon Musk definitely knows what Ripple and Stellar are and who knows maybe he's going to in integrate them one of them or both into this platform x.com maybe because x is this is a symbol for currency right so maybe it, he is going to turn it into like half of the global financial system that's what he said in an interview just recently so he is pl he is planning to make x.com a humongous like a big deal maybe like the, the financial hub for billions of people in this world um, so furthermore he suggests that the ripple network would reduce the cost of short-term loans by provi providing a highly competitive market in which people could request and receive lines of credit this is because the decentralized nature of the ripple network would allow for a greater number of lenders to participate in the market increasing competition and driving down interest rates Overall, he's emphasizing the power of potentially decentralized networks like Ripple Network and links to a live impl implementation to the concept he was speaking about. I clicked it and it brought me to one of the first versions of Ripple in 2012 with 4,500 network uh, users. Using this link, I was able to dig deeper and find the very, very first version of the Ripple website dating back to March 2006. This led me to find the initial Ryan Fugger ripple white paper from 2004 wow have you noticed something this group loves the letter x paypal x twitter x space x xrp xlm 
XRPL, X current, X via, X.com. Well, so, you know, thanks to Boo Boo, she told me this, um, that X means currency in, in the financial, in the fintech world, financial. So X.com, like currency.com, basically, will be connected to XRPL. X.com can use XRP behind the scenes for ODL liquidity and they can also use XLM for retail. I don't know how, don't ask me. Okay, so that's what he says here. Watch this video from Utility Theory. Um, okay, maybe I'll check that out. I might click on it. 2013 Open Coin, now known as Ripple with Chris Larson, the incredible story of the PayPal Mafia. So those are three different videos. Um, that's very interesting though. No. So, I do. Um, so I do wonder how much of it's actual fact, but it is interesting to think about. XRP Venture here in the comments, he says, "I've always thought it was suspiciously strange that Elon Musk would not ever mention or talk about or even make make a comment about XRP. I don't know X.com will ever use XRP, but I still think it's really interesting that he never mentioned it being a payment guy. Well, and that's basically exactly what I just said. So I, I agree with that sentiment." Um, so the comments are saying, yeah, very interesting read, could be a coincidence. Yeah, so a lot of coincidences aren't really coincidences, you know? Um, a lot of it is st strategically planned out, especially when it includes billions and billions, even trillions of dollars. I mean, obviously, you need to be very careful about what the public knows, especially because you know your enemies out there, you know, um, you, you, have, you have your competition out there. You don't want them knowing exactly what you're planning because they're going to front run you and they're going to pull something off even better. You know, they're going to, they, they'll know too much, you know. Um, he, so obviously he has to keep his mouth shut. He probably has non-disclosure agreements up the wazoo that he's signed over the years. I mean, this is, we're talking about the most, one of the most important men in our generation's history. Like, um, he's, he's revolutionizing space exploration, um, you know the way we travel around the earth um but also payments and fin finance and a lot of a lot of people don't give him a lot of credit for his financial ventures and the way he's shaped you know finance in at least uh in the western world but he has and he's he's had a lot of influence on people behind the scenes too uh, this guy says this is a crazy rumor would love to see this true I'm, th I'm thinking, guys, I think Stellar is more connected than Ripple, to be honest. I think they would use Stellar XLM um, for retail. I think that would be I would, that would be a good first step. But then, then again, you know, I know Stellar has built infrastructure and they have good partners. But Ripple is definitely a lot more public with it and more notable. Um, the infrastructure seems to have been built out just perfectly so far. And um, they've been testing and testing and going through trials and tribulations. And they're still coming out on top, guys. Um, yeah, for a few years I was like, okay, I'm tired of Ripple, uh, to be honest. Just because uh, I think it was PTSD from XRP losing a lot of money. Thinking it was going to blow up and it didn't really ever blow up like I thought. Now, now my mind has kind of changed. I've, I've kind of, we've kind of like you know the facts have changed so people are allowed to change their minds due to the facts changing I feel like it's an excellent time to invest in XRP and XLM to be honest um, you know because it's not a security so that's easy you know XLM is the same it's pretty much the same as a uh, XRP so it's basically not a security you know but we know XRP is not a security and uh, it's very easy to be able to invest now. Institutions are going to be, you know, clamoring to. They're going to be using Ripple now and XRP lines. Like this is, uh, I, I believe this is the beginning of the bull market. Um, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> so let me just click on these videos. I want to see how long they are. So you got Jed McCaleb here. Um, a lot of people don't like him you know I don't know much about him besides that he, he did create Mount Gox which literally like robbed like millions and billions of dollars of Bitcoin from its uh, its customer base 
Um, but he also created Stellar. He has ties to these guys, Elon Musk and Peter Thiel, who created uh, PayPal, X.com. Um, and then we have this, too. I, I've made a lot of... I made quite a few videos in the past. I was one of the original guys, like Conspiracy, uh, Stellar, Ripple guys who was creating these kind of videos. But it does look similar. I mean, I don't know if this symbol is going to be used. Um, but the only two I really would think they might be is like stellar or maybe it looks it actually looks a little more like the um the the, the circle with the strike in it with um the atom the cosmos symbol um so i think co i do have a bag of cosmos i don't hold a lot of cryptos right now but i have cosmos stellar xlm uh doge ethereum and that's pretty much it i have a few other low caps um and that's it so so i mean i have more confidence in those four cryptos than any others right now um so let me know what you think um go go to the comments section let me know if you think that one of these could be used you know like stellar or ripple let me know if you think they could be used um on x.com you know because that it it does um it ring it is true you know he says they all have they they like their x's don't they this group the paypal mafia they really love their letter x and all the ties of Jed McCaleb now. I didn't know he had ties to uh, SpaceX and Elon and X.com. And I didn't know that. And that's pretty cool. Um, that makes me even more confident in Stellar. You know, I'm super stoked. Uh, Stellar had a huge pump the other day. And Ripple only went up like 8%. Stellar went up 30%. And um, it makes me want makes me want more Stellar than, than Ripple. Or more XLM than xrp to be honest um because I, I build it i believe they're really building in the background you know and they're really not they're keeping it quiet and ripple's kind of being loud about things and ripple has a huge ripple xrp army it's got a huge community who's very loud stellar's very quiet but they're building so you know payment rails are, are a big deal and i believe uh you know, both XRP and Stellar are going to be big. So just keep your eye out. Uh, hit the thumbs ups if you like this kind of stuff. Uh, maybe I'll do more videos like this. Uh, make sure you subscribe because YouTube is unsubscribing people from my channel. Like every video I make, I lose at least five subscribers. I don't gain any subscribers anymore. Um, and this is something they used to do back when I made a lot of videos too. They started doing it a few years ago. Um, they really don't want my channel to be big. I'm going to have to have a few breakthrough videos to break through. They, they're keeping me below um, 20,000. This is just something YouTube does. You ever notice like someone's right below a million followers or subscribers and they just, it takes them forever to get past that. It usually takes a big video or just something like a breakthrough, like usually a breakthrough video. Um, and then they, they allow it. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like they're, they're the gatekeepers. Like they want, they don't want you breaking above a certain level. For me, it's 20,000. So, um, make sure you subscribe because they probably unsubscribed you, you know, go, go and check. And also the notification bell, just make sure you click it. And then, you know, if, if it's not, if it's unsubscribed, make sure you subscribe back. So I can, you know, don't lose all my followers. All right, guys. Uh, love you guys. Take care. Crypto Mike out. Peace.